Okay, let's make a start. What we're trying to do now is we're trying to make a fireball. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to import a new asset and I'm going to get the shoot fireball asset here. Now, over here, what I need to do is I need to create a spawn point, which is where the fireball will come from. So over here, I'm going to go to game object, create other, and I'm going to make a sphere like so. Now that sphere, I want to move that just in front of my person, my player. And actually, I want to drag that sphere on top of the player, like so, so it's connected to it. Now if I right click and rename that, I'm going to change that to spawn point, no space, capital S, capital P. Now when I press play, you probably won't be able to see it, Set when I move around, it's just in front of me there. So that's going to be the place that the fireball gets created from. Okay, now obviously we don't see that, so if I click on Mesh Render there, it disappears. So that's yeah. done, that's good. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to create a fireball. I'll create a sphere again, and again I'm going to move this in. Front of us, so we can see. We'll hide that later. And I'm going to rename that, and I'm going to call that Fireball. Like so. Now, what I want to do is I want to change the way that this looks. So I have opened up the materials, click on this target here, and from this I want the flame D. Double click on that, and so that we can see that. Click on that. It looks more like a fireball. Okay. Now I need to give that some physics, get a component physics, and I want to give that a rigid body so that now that's got some substance so that when I fire it, it will fly off into the distance. Okay. And now the next thing that I need to do is I need to come over here, I need to create a prefab. The prefab for this needs to be, we'll just check that here, it needs to be shoot fireball prefab. So there's no prefab there. Rename that. Uh, I will delete that and make a new one. Shoot fireball. That's my new prefab. Just make sure I got that right. Shoot fireball, that's correct here. Yeah. And now I need to drag the fireball over on top of that there. Now when I drag the shoot fireball script over on top of the player, like so, I click on that, you'll see it down the bottom here. And so now what it's asked me to do is to define the shoot fireball prefab. Click on that. And the There. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the fireball and I'm just going to lower that so that it's underneath the mountain so that people can't see it. Now when I press play, um, oh, I need to hide that a little bit better obviously. I press that and you can see the shooting fireballs. In the next tutorial I'll talk about how we can give that a little bit more speed and our can interact with the environment a little bit better. But that is how we shoot fireballs.